Hey YouTubers, it's Mark from Truth Seeker, and uh, I'm in Soul 778. And uh, lately, I mean, I just haven't been happy with the quality of the pictures. There's really been just nothing that I really thought that was important. To I mean, the quality has just been so bad. But uh, this morning, I'm going over these pictures, and uh, this has got to be up in like my top five. We're going to be centered on this area here and down here. Let's take a look. Okay, this is in Pixlr.com. This is basically with no editing. Um, you can see there's a gravestone. It's got a flat top. There's all types of little statues on top of it. You can see that there's a, a face of an animal carved. It looks more like maybe like a dragon type. There's another little statue here. Here looks to be a little urn. Uh, down here, there's another face carved right in the side of it. I mean, look at the angles on this thing. Perfect diamond shape. Okay. Then you come over here. It looks to be like a metallic ball, almost cage-like. You can see the, the fins, the openings. Here they blacked out, you could see they blacked out a statue here. See how they came in with that blur? You could see the edges. Okay, then we're gonna go down, stick with me here. Here's another piece that they, uh, that they did some work on. Let's get that out of the way for now. See this? Another piece that's carved. Now I can't show you everything in this picture, but I'm going to give you the link. And uh, I mean, this picture is utterly amazing. I mean, there's been a lot of junk put out there lately, but uh, this is this is quality. This is this is worth taking your time to look at. All right, look at the look at the curvature of this. Okay. Now look at this. Look at this. Like it would lock, maybe lock into something, or this is the top. Look at that perfectly, look at it perfectly square. Look at the curves in that. Then look at this. This reminds me of a cross. Okay. You could see it would come down here, and then you could see where they came in and blurred this, or the computer did it. And here looks to be maybe like another little statue. You see pieces sticking out of it, maybe the branches or something. All right, let's go into Photoshop. Okay, here we are in Photoshop, and I took the desaturate tool, and I highlighted this for you so you could see it a little better. You could see the carving of the animal. There's the eye, the mouth, there's teeth nose area and you can see the face carved on the side eyes nose mouth area you can see the little statues you could see the diamond shape of the top on this gravestone then you could see over to the side it looks like there's some real intricate carvings now like I said I can't show you everything because we'd be here all day but I mean look at some of this stuff I mean, it looks like it was violently destroyed, that's for sure. And here's that area that I showed you before that's blacked out. You can see parts of the statue still there. There's that ball. I was telling you, it looks like it's made out of metal. It's like a caged ball. See what I'm talking about? You see the face carved in here? The animal's face. It looks to be a little urn. And another face there. See the face on the side here? 
the eyes, nose, the objects on top. Try not to make this too long, but uh, I felt this one was important to really show everybody. It looks like another piece of something that's maybe broken off with carvings in it. Here I took the bee, not well, buried, but the head of some type of statue, and you can see maybe the back parts of it. That would be the eye. See what I'm talking about? Now I've seen a lot of dragons, or what looks to be like a dragon carved on Mars. If you search back through my videos, you will see that. It's kind of a common theme. Now let me show you what. This is supposed to be a rock. Look at it. Now you can see through it. Okay, and we come over to this area here. Look at the curvature of this. Now I desaturated this. Now, I believe there's an object under here that they came in and colored. You could see that there's parts of it sticking out. You see this? Well, that's for you to decide. I, I know what I'm seeing on my uh, screen. They want us to believe that these are rocks, but look at look at these lines. Do you see what how they're coming in and filling in? Do you see what they're doing? A lot of people don't understand this or can't accept that. I mean, you have to look at it how I look at this. God created everything. The heavens. The, the, the visible universe. The uni parts of the universe that we can't see. <laughs> I think they're called centrinos. Uh, atoms I mean down to the you know the finest you know molecules I mean God created everything you know I mean, look at this how could this be created by rocks and nature I mean are you kidding me I mean really I mean The bullshit that NASA's been feeding us in this world. And now they got other countries tied into this Mars Mars program. And they're they're trying to get uh, other countries to come along with, you know, going to Mars because they know. You know, they gotta get other countries to come along with them. Because sooner or later these other countries are gonna get up to Mars. And if they're doing it with the United States, they, you know, it's just like the bullshit they're feeding us. You know, if we send, uh, you know, we send men and women to Mars, you know, they can't come back. Of course they can't come back. Because <laughs> as long as they're up there, you control and censor everything that they're going to say. Everything that would get back to Earth. I mean, you got to be kidding me. You're gonna let them come back. I mean that that was the first sign to me that something crazy is going on on Mars That really confirmed it for me Because there is no reason why human beings couldn't go to Mars a Couple years do their shift and come home just as they serve You know in our armed forces So bring them back decontaminate them and go on You know with their lives but uh, they wouldn't be able to control because when these people they're gonna when these people are set to go they're gonna be debriefed on what they're gonna see there 
And that's why these people are going to sacrifice their lives to not come back because what they're going to see there is totally amazing. You know, if I had the chance, I would do it. I mean, look at this. This almost looks like the front of maybe, look at this, looks like a ladder. See how they blocked this out? Look at this. It almost looks like maybe the, some type of a vehicle. I mean, look at it. These could be wheels or tracks. Or this could be the, there's the, like the front bar of a truck. These could be the headlights. I mean, who knows? But are you going to tell me that nature makes this? I mean, look at this. And of course, they black it out. I mean, I just can't believe that they could keep this nonsense up. You see stuff like this? I mean, they want us to believe it's rocks, but I mean, look at this. Do your rocks look like this? Look at these circles. This is some type of piece of machinery. Okay? These people are artists that come in and doctor these pictures. They are artists. I mean, they're drawing wood. You know, it's like if you have a bad tattoo and you go into a shop and you want them to cover it up. That's all they're doing here, is they're taking an artifact and they're making something out of it. And nine out of 10 times, they're usually trying to make a rock, piece of slate, you know. I mean, it's just, you know, just what it is. It's, these are artifacts. There's some type of life form there. Was there, still there. And, uh, you know, I believe our government is keeping it secret because they're gonna you know either they're occupying it or they have plans that if there's a big natural disaster and you know we have an extinction type event you know we all can't go <laughs> you know what are you gonna be down uh, you know where these spacecraft would leave for Mars to get the elite off of the planet I mean what are we gonna do go down there and you know storm the gates you know, that's why all of this is kept top secret. The money that goes into black projects is just mind-numbing. We could solve all the world's problems. You know, I'm just going to give a good you know, glance over this picture real quick, let you take a look. I showed you, you know, what I think is some of the good stuff. But there's a lot left in this picture. A lot. I mean, you can see stuff like this that they morphed. I mean, this looks like some type of skull. There's statues everywhere. There's branches. I take this very seriously. If I put out a video, you know, there's no joking around. I mean, there's some of these videos that are put out there with these, you know crazy titles and you know it, and, you know a lot of these videos get a lot more hits than I do and I'm not about the hits I'm about finding an anomaly in my heart making sure I believe it's an anomaly and putting it out there for you guys and hopefully you'll share it with your friends and family and I mean something like this I, I couldn't wait to show my friends and uh, my family I'm just so excited when I find stuff like this because I know this is real. You know, I could see that they're doctoring it and blacking it up and doing what they, you know, their little tricks. All right, guys, that's about 14 minutes. You got the you got the idea. This stuff's there. There's life, or there was, on Mars, and that's a fact. NASA's got to come clean. And as Americans, we should demand that they come clean. Because by law, the money was lent to them and the funding under the assumption that they were going to tell the American people the truth. <laughs>